in the words of Ross from Friends. You don't get a garden when you buy a new home, apparently. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be so brilliant, right? <laughs> Welcome to your new home, Bella. Do you love it? Look who we brought over. We managed to find her last night and trap her into the flat. For, um, and we brought her over. I'm just not sure though on how she's feeling about it. Because so far she only likes the upstairs. But why don't you? It's a bit noisy downstairs. Do you think I like it here? Look in here. You're purring, so that's a good sign. How are you saying? How are you saying? <laughs> Evenings is Bella and I just sat in our extremely magnolia living room while the boys are upstairs putting a bed together. Um, I've been in Southwold today working, which was lovely. And Scott was off all day, um, nursing his hangover, and the poor dentist that had to give him a filling at 9.30 this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Not pleasant. Um, so we've decided in a slightly unplanned turn of events that we're going to sell our current two sofas and buy a new one purely because getting a sofa up our stairs in our new place, you have to kind of go up, round, up and round. It's not going to be easy. So therefore, we figure it's just going to be so much easier just to buy a new one and get someone else to deliver it for us. Take a look at my, take a look at my curious cat. Look in his Bella. She's feeling so unsettled, bless her. Um, and she hasn't been to the toilet since we've been here and that's worrying me. She's got a litter tray but it's worrying me that through the night where she will go to the toilet. She's purring so she does sound happy but she's very very unsettled. Poor little monkey. So I thought that this evening I would give the bath a go. Yeah, just got to fill it up make sure it doesn't leak everywhere. Good evening. Sorry, I decided to take a giant mouthful of um, rice cake with sticky peanut butter on it before talking to you. I thought I'd better have a snack. It's five to seven, and Scott's not going to be home till like half eight ish. Um, but I'm holding out eating my dinner. So that's really rude of me. I'm holding out eating dinner because I'm currently waiting in for our new dining table to arrive and I'm so excited I haven't had a dining table in 10 years so we're just waiting for John Lewis whose delivery is between 5 and 9 p.m so yeah 5 to 7 currently so fingers crossed it gets here soon so I can get it all put up ready for when Scott comes home we can actually have dinner at a real life dining room table super excited so we also ordered the sofa this morning current setup is um, an arrangement of cushions against a wall um, and it said six weeks delivery which is fine and then we selected the fabric we wanted and then I just bumped it up to ten weeks but ten weeks is fine because we'll have a fancy pants new dining table to sit at um, but I absolutely loving being a homeowner it's so cool playing house is the best thing ever so Bella's in a right grump now because she's got comfortable in the house, now it's been 24 hours, and she's realised nothing bad is going to happen to her while she's here, and now she wants to get her out. But, yeah, sorry Bells, you've got at least another two, no, another three weeks. I'm going to try and keep her in for three weeks, I think. If anyone knows how long you should keep your cat in for when you move, let me know. So, yeah, scoffing peanut butter on rice cakes, waiting for the delivery of a table. That is my thrilling Thursday evening. Here it comes, here comes the table. Oh, so excited about this. Is that 
Quick check one. Oh man, this is so cool. Afternoon, happy Friday. I've just got back from work. It's just about five o'clock and I'm desperately trying to get the rest of my emails done so I can turn my out of office on because I'm on holiday next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with Scott. Super looking forward to that. Um, and trying to get this done to get over to Scott to take, go to the flat to get more stuff to come back. I think someone's picking up a fridge freezer. Not sure, a bit confused as to what's going on there. But running out of time, I just wanted to say hi, really, just while this was loading up. Um, so, hey, how you doing? I'm sitting at my new table doing my work. The novelty of not working with a laptop on my lap is amazing. I can't wait to get the study done now. I feel all creative now, which is lovely. So, yeah, I've got to get this done. Isaac's coming over tonight. Uh, I need to go meet my sister. She's got to pick up a bunch of her old crap that she's got lying around in my garage. So I need to go meet her. In fact, I've got to go. So bye-bye. See you soon. Well, this is not an attractive light. <laughs> we just brought over a whole bunch more stuff. Um, now, I don't know if I ever did show you my wardrobe in the flat. It was quite a large walk-in wardrobe. So we could get absolutely shed loads of stuff in. Um, and in here, which is our bedroom, our wardrobe is this one door here, which at the moment hasn't got anything in it until we go to Ikea on Tuesday. Um, but I've just got a couple of shelves, a couple of drawers, which I bought over from the old place to go into a unit. So that's just basically, this is where I'm keeping my makeup at the moment. Out of here, you. Come on. Um... So yes, everything has to go into this one wardrobe. Now at the moment though, this is the contents of our wardrobe as it stands. So somehow we've taken all of this stuff out of our walk-in wardrobe and that is absolutely chock-a-full. These are chock-a-full. That one of shoes, that one of clothes, that's one of shoes. We have just got so much stuff that we've somehow got to get crammed into that one wardrobe and maybe a chest of drawers. So IKEA needs to be doing its magic with its amazing storage solutions. But I came to get my hoodie because it's a nice evening and I'm going to go outside. My nice fence background. Well, I thought it would be a damn sight prettier than the uh, current mud patch situation because... You don't get a garden when you buy a new home, apparently. Um, so the boys have gone to Tesco's to go and get some snacks. Um, and I was sitting in the dining room thinking, I'll have a glass of wine. And I suddenly thought, hmm, actually, we own a garden now. And it's apparently still 20 odd degrees out here. So, yeah. Bought my wine outside, watching the planes go by. It's very quiet because a lot of these people haven't moved in yet. And being a building site, it's pretty quiet of an evening. Um, tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow we are moving the rest of the house stuff over. Um, there's not a great deal left to come over from the flat, just big furniture. Our bed cannot wait to have a night's sleep in our bed. We've upgraded from sleeping in on a double air bed to sleeping on a mattress, Isaac's mattress. Um, and yeah, tomorrow we'll have our own bed and I'm so excited about that. Um, but for now, I shall have a nice quiet evening while the boys are out, enjoy the plants that people, look at all these lovely plants that people have bought us as a housewarming gift got some lovely friends and family. Look out people, there's no consideration. 
stage that we joined the vlog. But he's supposed to be a lady. <laughs> and I'm a little gross. Today has been an extremely busy day moving the rest of the furniture over from the flat which is why I look like this all horrendous like. Um, but we are about to undergo our first proper DIY project in the bathroom and we're going to document it because it's going to be amazing, it's going to be so brilliant, right? This is the current situation in the main bathroom but there's no shower and we can't put a shower up here because of this shelf thing. And for some reason they only tile two tiles up, but when you're stood in the bath, obviously your head comes to here and you're gonna get all this wet. So, Scott's got a genius idea of putting sticky back plastic up on the wall, and it's gonna look amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it looks a little bit budget, but we've done it. We, what we've done is we've made a room that had a bath and no shower quite functional. So basically we've built a shower. So very, very proud of ourselves. Let me show you. So here we go. We now have a shower in here. Well, we just need to um, get a bracket to pop that up on here. Um, we didn't want one that drilled into the wall because this is obviously just a temporary measure. So we just want to get like a suction pad. But we now have a functional shower. And how good is this? So this white stuff is all just sticky back plastic, which has just covered the wall without having to paint it. And then we've just put sealant all around here, um, up in the corners, up there and round. So it's basically made a bit of a useless space functional. Gives Isaac a shower and gives us our ensuite back. Hello, guess where we are again? Being cute for like the hundredth time today. Um, I sent Scott in for a ladder, but he's been gone a long while, so we're just gonna come and find him and make sure he's not struggling finding what he's looking for. Um, and um, I just thought we need to get some gold door, no, um, drawer handles for a unit we're gonna get from Ikea on Tuesday. In the backwood section, my ass. Where are you, husband? We have a ladder and a happy husband. And he's got a happy wife because I've got an ice cream. Oh, I've just spilled it off my food. So, so far you've been a plumber, a carpenter, a and carpenter. now you're an electrician. You put the blinds up. Oh, is it high enough? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, awesome. You're so good at DIY. My name is Laura Wright and I am ashamed. I am terribly ashamed of these. What kind of horrendous self-respecting blogger am I? These are the results, these manky nails of moving house. Hey. It's in the breakfast bit. It's yeah. the breakfast bit. Well, I'm trying to just end my vlog and you put the tap on. In the words of Ross and Friends. No, like, turn it off. Turn it off. He's worse than Bella the cat. So it. I just want to say thank you for watching my vlog this week. Um, Sorry that I've not been that chirpy or chatty. It's just been super busy trying to move house and get everything sorted. And hopefully this week, um, I'll say that it will go back to normal, but I don't think it will because we've got three days off doing housey stuff and then we're back to work and that. 
Um, but we've had a lovely evening this evening with some friends visiting, um, a fair few glasses of fizz to celebrate the house. I just want to say thank you for watching this week and I shall see you again soon. Bye.